Could you please tell us more about the word Aerotropolis? What does it mean and what does it do with the airport or flying city? Well, Aerotropolis really is a combination of aero, aviation, and yes. metropolis, uh, metropolitan development. So mm -hmm. an Aerotropolis really is a uh, metropolitan subregion whose infrastructure, land use, and economy is centered on an airport. Mm, okay. And it could be as large as 20, 30 kilometers out from uh, the uh, uh, the airport. The airport is is, is part of the Aerotropolis. Mm -hmm. It's the logistics, uh, sometimes uh, commercial uh, and infrastructure uh, core of the uh, uh, Aerotropolis. And then it, it, it supports uh, economic development, business mm. and industrial development outward uh, from the airport uh, up to 20 uh, uh, kilometers where these mm. businesses uh, feed off of each other and their accessibility to the airport. Okay, and we're having Aerotropolis in Thailand now as well. How do you see the strategy in driving the Utapau Airport to be the Aerotropolis of the Eastern Thailand? Well, uh, uh, it, it is a part, of course, of the uh, Eastern Economic Corridor and mm -hmm. it will be a very yep. important uh, uh, logistics hub to begin with mm -hmm. and then it will also eventually develop commercial uh, activities and some industrial activities in its own right. Uh, the uh, Utapau Airport will have some of these activities right on the airport property, uh, which is jointly used by the Thai Navy. It will always be a joint use airport, uh, uh, military and commercial, which sets up a, a unique set of uh, relationships. Uh, mm -hmm. But it will also be the center uh, of a uh, airport economic region mm. uh, that includes Pattaya, Rayong, ah, uh, uh, other uh, uh, municipalities in the mm. in the area uh, that supports not only uh, industrial development but also tourism. And do you think that the uh, Aerotropolis policy can be really implemented for the Utapau Airport? How do you see the potential in that area? Well, the potential is immense, uh, not just because uh, Utapau Airport itself has uh, uh, substantial expansion potential to aid mm. uh, uh, the aviation uh, infrastructure in the greater Bangkok uh, metropolitan region, but also the surface connectivity is being dramatically improved. Mm -hmm. uh, the highway connectivity, the extension of uh, uh, Highway 7 uh, directly from Bangkok to uh, uh, Utapau will improve its accessibility uh, tremendously uh, mm -hmm. to the greater metropolitan region and, and the eastern economic seaboard. seaboard. And the high-speed rail, mm. uh, which will connect Utapau to uh, uh, Sawanapum and Don Mong Airport uh, mm. in 45 or uh, 50 minutes and also to downtown Bangkok. Mm. Uh, there'll also be connections to the port, mm. uh, to Maktaput Port, to Lam Shabong, the container port, and uh, to Yut uh, uh, Samet, which is part of Satahib, which will be a ferry terminal and uh, a cruise ship, cruise ship terminal. So all of this ties together uh. Uh, in terms of surface transportation infrastructure, uh. air infrastructure, commercial industrial development, development and tourism attraction. Mm -hmm. So these are like the infrastructure that support the Aerotopolis? That's right. The infrastructure and, and the surface infrastructure is mm -hmm. as important as the air infrastructure. They all work have to work together uh, so that the business and industry can get its supplies and ship out its products uh, mm -hmm. uh, quickly so tourists could get to their destination and back to the airport yeah. uh, quickly and efficiently. Uh, it's all about speed. How about the um, supporting measures from the government? Do you think they are helpful now? Well, the, 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 uh, the government is very supportive, and this mm -hmm. is why uh, I'm confident uh, uh, the Utapau Aerotropolis will be a success. Uh, they are supportive uh, with the transportation connecting uh, infrastructure that I just mentioned, the highways and the connections to uh, uh, industrial estates and, mm -hmm. and, and even uh, uh, railway connections to the ports in addition to the high-speed rail. But they also placed incentives uh, uh, in Eastern Economic Corridor Act uh, that provides promotional uh, promotional uh, privileges uh, to businesses and industries that are investing not just in Utapau but mm -hmm. in the entire three province uh, uh, Eastern Economic uh, Corridor, which mm -hmm. is uh, reduced taxes, uh, 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 work permits, uh, 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 various sorts of, of regulatory reforms that will now allow shipments to come in uh, more quickly and efficiently and exports uh, mm -hmm. uh, move out more quickly and efficiently. So uh, the government is 
is 100% behind this, mm. uh, including putting uh, uh, 5 billion U.S. dollars into mm. the expansion of Utapau Airport itself, along with the surface transportation infrastructure. So it's a very huge spending from the government as well. It will be major spending. Mm -hmm. I understand that uh, the entire Eastern Economic Corridor will uh, be allocated upwards of 45 billion dollars when mm. it's done, of which almost 6 billion will go, U.S. will go to Utapau Airport. In your point of view, you think there needed to be any more additional support from any parts of the government or the private sector to facilitate the um, policy or to facilitate the aeropolis to be implemented mm -hmm. perfectly? Yeah, I, I do. Uh, if the foreign investors are going to be attracted mm -hmm. uh, to the area, they will want quality living areas. Uh, yeah. They will want a place where they can not only work but where they can live and play. Mm. So uh, developing high quality residential areas, urban mm. areas, okay. uh, of course leveraging uh, Pattaya, Rayong and the other cities which will mm. benefit from this development as well, but perhaps building some uh, new airport ed cities. Uh, uh, they will have the institutional um, uh, activities, the schools, uh, community services, as well as uh, shopping and entertainment mm. uh, that will make uh, uh, the areas uh, uh, socially vibrant, not ah, just uh, environmentally sustainable as they will also need to be green. Okay. How long do you think it will take to um, implement uh, Adrotopolis? like to the finish line and oh, what well to the finish mm. line you're probably talking uh, 20 years okay but a good part of, of aerotropolis development can be accomplished in the next five to ten years and we are on, on like the phase one right now Is yeah right? phase one right now mm -hmm. Mm, okay mm -hmm. but, uh, it will it will steadily move forward over the next uh, 20 years with I think a major uh, leap forward uh, in the next five or so years okay if the aeropropolis can be implemented completely, which industry will be benefited from it? Uh, it will it will contribute to a, a, a wide range of uh, industries, uh, yes. as the eastern uh, seaboard does now. But mm. from the aviation and aerotropolis standpoint, uh, uh, two types of, of, of industries will be particularly affected. Yes. Uh, the first are those industries that have high value, time sensitive products, mm. uh, microelectronics, uh, information communication technology, yep. mm. uh, uh, pharmaceuticals and biomedicine, uh, medical devices, aerospace components, yeah. uh, uh, for the farmers, fresh cut flowers, uh, or Thai fruit, uh, high value fruit, oh, uh, fresh see. seafood, because of all of this is very important part of the logistics process. Of it is very important, right? Very important uh -huh. because uh, freshness uh, is value. And these are high, highly perishable products, so uh. they need to go by air, whether it's to the restaurant tables in Tokyo or uh, uh, to the flower market in Amsterdam, uh, the aerotropolis will be key. So the first part is time-critical products. Mm. The second uh, is modern business services, uh, because uh, 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 high-value business people also travel by air, whether it's uh, uh, bankers and people in the financial sector, corporate lawyers, uh, uh, accountants, auditors, uh, uh, people in the media. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, these business services depend on aviation, okay. uh, either to bring their clients in mm -hmm. or to travel to their uh, client sites uh, quickly and efficiently. So it will be the high-end, uh, uh, time-sensitive manufacturing, high-value mm -hmm. manufacturing, yes. and modern business services that will okay. be uh, most attracted by the Aerotropolis. So quite a lot of industries and also high businesses. High value industry yeah. and high value services. I this see. is moving Thailand up the value chain, ah. both in terms of industry and business services. Okay. How about for economy in Thailand as well? Like how will that affect the driver for driving the economy in Thailand to move yeah. forward? It, it will be a very important engine mm -hmm. uh, be, because uh, first of all, uh, it will enhance tourism, and mm -hmm. tourism is upwards of ten percent. The Thai economy just by itself. Yes. Uh, and 8 million tourists a year come to the eastern seaboard, so mm -hmm. this will boost it even further as the, as the uh, air infrastructure at Utapau. Well, I think.